Hey guys, my name is Shreyas and welcome to Simple Biology. Today we're going to be talking about hydrophobic interaction. And for the next few videos, we're going to be talking about properties of water. And uh, the reason why we're going to be doing that is that is because water is plays a very important role in biology. If you just think about a cell, a cell is made up mo mostly of water. The human body is made up mostly of water. So it's important to understand the properties of water in order to understand more complex uh, concepts in biology. And one of the first things we're going to be talking about which relates to water is this, the hydrophobic interaction. So before we talk about the hydrophobic interaction, let's first talk about what a solution is. A solution is a mixture in which its consti constituents are homogeneous, meaning that the mixture itself is uniform in composition. So what does that mean? If you look at seawater, seawater is an example of a solution. Um, even though the seawater has a lot of things besides just water in it, it has, uh, it has the water, of course, but it also has the solutes. It has um, salt, NaCl, and then it has other uh, small amounts of other things like, for example, carbonic acid. But the thing is, these other components of the seawater are mixed very well with the water to a point where you can't see the salt, you can't see the carbonic acid, all you see is just the water. So a solution is basically where you have a lot of things mixed together, but it looks just like one thing. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Um, so in a solution, substances that are similar to each other will mix well. Basically this rule, I like to call it the like mixes with like. So if a substance is polar, it'll mix well with another polar substance. If a substance is nonpolar, it'll mix well with another nonpolar substance because like mixes with like well. Then if two substances two substances are not alike, for example, a polar substance and a nonpolar substance, they will not mix well together typically. This is um, one of the generic rules in chemistry when you're talking about solutions. And that plays a very important role in when we're talking about water mixing with other things. Um, since water is polar and displays hydrogen bonding, substances which are polar will mix well with it. Just like the previous rule I talked here, polar substances mix well with polar substances. So since water is polar, other substances which are polar will mix well with it. And if a substance mixes well with water, it means it's called hydrophilic, meaning water loving. This, is, this word means water loving. So a substance which is polar mixes well with water and it's hydrophilic, okay? And substances that are nonpolar won't mix well with water and those substances are called hydrophobic. So that's this rule right here. Polar substances don't mix well with nonpolar substances. So since water is a polar substance, substances which are nonpolar won't mix well with water. And again, they're called hydrophobic. Pretty simple. Now, that's all you need to know pretty much, but if you want, I'm going to go ahead and go into the chemistry behind this, but I don't think this will really be important to the AP bio test, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyways. Just briefly explain why substances don't mix well or mix well. So in the previous, again, this is not really necessary. Um, I don't think you will need to know this for the AP bio test, but in case your teacher wanted you to understand chemically why this happens, go ahead and stay with me and watch this video and watch the rest of this video. So in the previous video, we talked about how water is a, is, displays hydrogen bonding and how water has this interesting positive and negative ends. So the hydrogen parts of the water will be positive and then the oxygen atom, that side of the water molecule will be will have a partial negative charge. And again, we display that with the delta and the plus, the interesting looking symbol. So let's say we had another polar molecule. Let's say we have something like this. Let me quickly draw this. Okay, so this substance comes along, and this substance here I've drawn is polar. 
because the substance is polar because this oxygen atom right here has a partial negative charge and then this hydrogen atom right here has a partial positive charge. So since this substance is polar and water already has a um, this separation of charges here, the either two things can happen. This hydrogen atom can be attracted to the oxygen atom right here, so this can happen right here. There can be an interaction here. Let me highlight that to make it more clear. The positive end of the hydrogen, this positive charge on the hydrogen can be attracted to the negative end of the oxygen for the water molecule, and there can be interaction there. Or this hydrogen, can, which has the positive charge, can be attracted to the negative charge of the oxygen. Either way will work. Like that. So either way will work. So since that, since the water molecules are going to um, are going to want to bond like this with th this polar substance, what's going to happen is that this polar substance will mix very well with the water. It'll interact very well, and then that will end up creating a solution. So this is again hydrophilic. Okay. Now let's say we have a non-polar substance. So this molecule I'm drawing right here is fairly nonpolar. And then again, let's say a water molecule comes by. I'm just going to draw this for emphasis. Okay, another water molecule comes by, and then you have this nonpolar substance. So since this nonpolar substance um, does not display the separation of charges, since everything is pretty, uh, since a nonpolar substance does not have any parts of the molecule which are more positive or negative than the others, the water molecule is not going to find anywhere to attract to because it, all the charges in this molecule are pretty balanced. Remember, a nonpolar molecule has no separation of charges. So since the water molecule even though it has this um, positive and negative ends, those positive and negative ends are not going to get attracted to this molecule which has a neutral charge. So that's why the water molecule will not, um, that's why this substance, sorry, this non-polar substance will not mix well with water and it is hydrophobic. So yeah, pretty simple. Um, hydrophobic interaction is as simple as that.